and uh they 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 said it would never be back man but uh the line before podcast is back we got a different we got a different co-host uh definitely want to thank uh my buddy from chasing the graph for being my co-host and uh man both me and him was Oh, busy. I mean, me doing co hosting on a radio show and him having his wrestling show that we couldn't, our schedules couldn't match together. But uh, the new co host is a, uh, should be a familiar face for everybody out there on my podcast. And he's clearly a familiar face on his podcast, Multi Genre Music Man. Welcome to the Line Before Podcast. How are you doing, Top Man? And how's it going, co host? Thank you very much. Good, good. How are you doing? Doing great, man. And uh, the thing about this show, what makes it a little bit different from the other one is me and you are actually going to be talking about music and yep. instead of interviewing somebody about music and having the singer on talk about, we're actually going to have them perform and then you give your live reaction to the singer or rapper. Or it, yep, you're, called multi-genre, you're called multi-genre music, man, for a reason. We're having Absolutely. multi-genre people on. We had a rapper on last week, had a country yep. singer on. This week we got another country slash rock singer on. So great. We're crossing two off the board because he's a country and a rock singer. That's right. And there's some off his in country and rap at the same time, all kinds of stuff. Definitely plan on uh I don't want to spoil it for people, but uh in, in a couple of weeks I am gonna try to have Roy Caldwell on. Awesome. I'm gonna, great. Try to get, I'm gonna try to get Roy on. He's always a blast to have on, man. And Hearing his voice is, it's it's it, his voice, man. Is I, I don't know anybody else that has a voice like him, man. It's just great. absolutely, yeah. I love talking to him. Yep, yeah, he was man, on earlier. Yeah. He was on earlier tonight. I saw him on, but I didn't catch the talk to him. Bring it off. Yep, he's great, man. He's a great uh, Kentucky Music Mafia just went gold. Actually, I don't know if you know that. No, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Off uh, Hank in the drinking. Wow, yeah, that song will do it. <laughs> That'll do it for you. That's a good song, man. It's an awesome song, yeah. And that definitely, if they're going to do it, that's the song to do it with. Absolutely, man. I mean, uh, Tom McDonald, uh, him and uh, Adam Calhoun just did a great song called, uh, what was that called? What was that one? Uh, New World Order. Yep, yep. They did New World song. Order. And they did another one. Um, I can't remember what the other one was called. I just Hot was, Boys? What's that? White boys. Yeah, white boys. Yeah, that's the other one they did. Yep, yep. I knew they did too because I've, I've done two reviews on them. So they're coming out with. I believe their album might be out or is coming out. Man, that I mean, Adam Calhoun, like you said, country rap. Adam Calhoun is a top three coach. One of the he's one of the top three, probably top three biggest country yep. rappers out out there. Him, Up Church, uh, Shane. Did you see he was on, uh, Calhoun was on uh, the internet yesterday, I think it was yesterday, the day before yesterday, talking about how he's banning Carhartt. Uh-oh, what happened? That? I guess they um, they started um, allowing, they were making people get shots for the COVID, and if they didn't get the shots, they got fired, and he got all mad about it. Took all his clothes, walked outside, all his car clothes, and burned them. Burned them right in his driveway. He goes, if anybody wants me to do the same thing, give me a call, and I'll come to your house and do it for you. Crazy. It upset him that bad that they were just, you know, making people get the shots. It upset him so bad he took every piece of clothing he had and burned it. I guess if you want to add him to an autograph, hit him up and he'll. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. But just don't, uh, make, just don't have a Carhartt hat. Just don't ask him to sign a Carhartt hat. He probably won't do it. Yep. We got a musical performance by Kyle LeMaster and the Honky Tonk Heroes coming up. And uh, that'll be coming up right now. We're uh, blessed to have Kyle. How are you doing, Kyle? Real house, I don't know it's a dust in my soul. It's there for a reason. The reason won't show. Could be rust, might be gold. It was out of my hands, only to show. 
surprise it already bears my name just gotta get there first before it gets plain i call on you when i find the time i promise i'll wait wait goodbye high above the water never think twice it's been a long way down and i'll catch you when the next sunrise comes back around I guess I should have told you I was stuck in my ways Just to pass the white flag by But I'm high above the water now Look at me fly I'm looking at the devil standing in the roses Staring right at me Where you want to go, son? Take what you need don't wear yourself down you stir up trouble you know i'll be around but you better not call when the money's not right i'm the free of the fall no one to kiss you good night take a look around make yourself at home just take a deep breath it'll be just fine and high above the water never think twice it's been a long way down and I'll catch you when the next sunrise comes back around. I guess I should have told you I was stuck in my ways. Just past the white flag by. But I'm high above the water now. Look at me fly. Yeah, just look at me fly. Yeah, just look at me fly. Great job. Absolutely, man. Definitely appreciate you doing that. And uh, multi-genre music, man. You're the reactor. What's your reaction? I just wanted to let him know you got a great voice. Unlike me, I got laryngitis this week, but uh. No, you have a great voice. I love I love the sound of it. And um, yeah, you've got a good good uh should be doing a lot better. You know, you should people should be hearing about you by now because uh your voice is great. Thank you. Definitely. Appreciate it. And uh where can people find you on Facebook, YouTube, everything, every social media out there, man? Uh we got a Facebook, it's Kyle Lamaster and the Honky Tonk Heroes. And on Instagram it's uh, Kyle and the H T H, and uh, that's the only social media we got. Uh, we're not really active on Instagram, but Facebook's pretty active, and uh, yeah, you can see where we're going to be playing and stuff. Great. Absolutely, man. And uh, this was definitely a, a pleasure having somebody that's just not a singer on somebody that's actually uh, one of my family members. <laughs> For real. Absolutely, man. Thank you for being on, brother. You Thank did a great job. Absolutely. Thank you. Man, what a performance by Kyle, man. What a Absolutely. hell of a performance, man. Definitely appreciate great, uh man. definitely appreciate Kyle and the uh, Honky Tonk Heroes for uh being on, man, and singing. And uh yeah. what is your uh whose voice did you think he sounded like? I, I don't know. He's got one of his own. He's definitely got a, a voice of his own, but I, I can't believe he's not been found yet and got a, a record deal yet. He's got a great voice. Yeah, you know, I was sitting there thinking that the whole time you're singing. I'm like, man, this guy. That's why I ask a lot of people to send stuff to my site of people that, you know, hasn't made it yet because that's one of the reasons I like doing that is simply because there's so many people out there that have a great voice that should be, uh, have a record deal or should be singing, making money. And they just haven't. The right person hasn't heard him yet. That's all it is. You, know, you get one one good person that has the the way the capability of getting you you know a management deal or whatever. And as soon as that person hears you, you you're done. You're good. Absolutely, man. And uh, yeah, man, that's why we do the show. I mean, I've had a singer on that was signed to a Loretta Lynn, and he did an absolute good job, man. Like back in uh, well. Like, to this date, probably a year ago, we had a singer on that was signed to uh, Loretta Lynn. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what we're all here to do, so that's good. 
he uh, he was signed to her. He released a single that was uh, something like a remake off of Keith Whitley song. Keith Whitley like signed off for him to do it and stuff, man. And I'll, I'll definitely try to get him back on in a couple of months or weeks or whatever, whenever I can get him on. Absolutely, that's awesome. Yeah, man. He's and with that, we might actually do an interview because I mean, well, I've asked right. him pretty much every question you can. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I bet he's not easy to be doing that good. That's great. Yeah, he was signed here. Now he's uh he does local gigs and stuff. He uh yeah, that, that's definitely incredible, man. And uh, because to be able to get your chance, that's that's all we're trying to do is get people out there to get to be able to get their chance to be seen in front of somebody that could help them out would be great. Absolutely, man. And uh, next week we have somebody that went number one in South Africa on the iTunes charts, Tony Sloan, who is going on tour in Tennessee starting March the 10th. That's great. Yep, you're touring with them, right? Yes, sir. Yep, that'll be awesome. I know your uh, favorite song by him is Hillbilly Hiram. Yeah, yeah. I said definitely a, a song hits home for sure. It's it's a good song, man. It tells about the uh, drug problem here in Eastern Kentucky. And yeah. Uh, yeah, man, it's definitely uh definitely a lot of people can relate to that song, and hopefully it helps a lot of people out there. Absolutely. Yep. Get to get the word out for sure. Yeah, man. Now, uh. Doug Pinson, who we had on a couple weeks ago, when he sung The Train, wh- whose voice did his remind you of? Um, I don't know. People don't really remind me of other people. I can't remember if you remind me of anybody else. I mean, they just have unique voices, which is why I think they should you know, be able to get in front of somebody. You don't want somebody that's imitating another singer because then the, most of the time they won't take them. Like, there's a lot of people out there who can sing like Elvis Presley, but Nobody wants another Elvis Presley. They want somebody that can do their own thing and sound like themselves and just and be able to hold their own weight without trying to sound like, although you, know, you take somebody like, um, oh, I can't think of his name. The guy that sings all the time with Randy Travis. Um, can't think of his name right now. The Long Black Train. That's all. There you go. You know, he sounds just like Randy Travis. He's lucky he got a career. Usually, they won't take somebody that sounds just like somebody else, you know. But I actually think Doug sounds like, uh, yeah, uh, Randy. Yep, yep, yeah. It was, it was kind of cool. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but um, when he went after he was on American Idol, when he went back to his own hometown, uh, uh Randy Travis actually surprised him by coming up behind him when he was doing a live show at his own hometown and come out on stage and sang Long Black Train with him. That was really cool, definitely, man. That, that's a good song too. Yeah, I think I think uh, Doug definitely sounds like Josh Turner a lot. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yep, that's, that's what made me think of that. I was saying, yeah, you know, usually when they sound like somebody else, they like they tell you to try to use your own voice, but that is Josh Turner's voice. Actually, he's got deeper volume, that, you know, deeper uh, than 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 Randy Travis, which is unusual. Usually, nobody's deeper than him, but. Um, he's actually deeper. His voice is actually deeper, which sounds even better. Absolutely, man. <laughs> definitely, man. I mean, doing this music show is definitely going to be a lot of fun. It has been a lot of fun. Just a few episodes we've done. Absolutely. And, uh, let's go back on that uh, Adam Calhoun thing you was talking about. A oh, about bit the clothes? Yeah, he, was, yeah, he just he, – he, he was upset. The reason he got upset about it was – he feels that, that those clothes that um, Carhartt clothes are made for, you know, mid for Americans that are like mid class, you know, working men, working hard, and and they do last a very long time. And he's like, and those are the same people you're hurting by forcing them to get a shot or lose their job. So if those people are losing their job now because Carhartt wants to change their policy simply because the government asked them to. There's other companies out there saying, no, they won't do that. And they're perfectly fine. But Carhartt was one of them that said, yeah, they would make every single person that worked for them get that shot. And so a lot of people end up losing their job. And it was the same hardworking Americans that working for them that that they're trying to promote when they sell their clothes. Those exact people they're hurting by, by promoting the, the shot. Yep. Definitely, Forcing them. I'm not saying you shouldn't get the shot. I'm just saying you shouldn't be forced to do it either. You know, it's either, we, we have a, you know, constitution for a reason. You shouldn't be forced to do it either. 
No, I definitely don't force people to get the shot if they want to get it. Then that's their business. They don't want to get it. That's their business. I definitely agree yeah. with Adam Calhoun. Adam Calhoun is uh, one of my favorite country rappers out there, man. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess if you want to add them, Calhoun uh, autographs, tell them you have some of them shirts and get them to burn it for you. And <laughs> yep. then get them to sign, uh, I guess, your CD or album you have of them or poster or whatever. Yep. Just type in Adam Calhoun and uh, Carhartt, and you'll see the video of him talking about it. He takes off his hat immediately, puts on one of his own hats, and then he takes all his clothes, puts them in the parking lot, and burns them. Yeah, man. And, uh, up church just released some uh, good music too the past couple of days you should definitely react to that i will yeah definitely i haven't like i said i've been sick the last two weeks so i haven't been on my uh maybe a couple times so i'm hoping tomorrow i'll feel better good enough to I can start getting back on again i've got a bunch of uh, requests that are building up so i can't wait to get back on and get to them absolutely man and uh yeah man that's definitely awesome though man that you're coming back and uh I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better, man. Hopefully uh, yeah. you continue to uh, feel better as well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely, man. And, uh, I mean, man, music has definitely changed a lot here lately than what it was Absolutely. years ago. Everything is digital. I don't know if you have one, but uh, I got one of them Echoes. You can just tell it to play music. And I do. Yep. Yeah, I do have one of them. Yep, that's exactly the one I have, the the Echo version, yep, so. They're awesome. Yep, they are. Yeah, I listen, whenever I'm playing on my um, Oculus or whatever, I always have mine playing, so you can tell it to play anything. You can tell it to take songs out, so it'll never play a song again if you don't like it. That way it only plays what you want it to hear, which I like that, too. Yeah, man. And uh, what got you to decide to, like, create a uh, multi-genre music reacting reaction I want, yeah i want to do multi-genre because there's a lot of channels out there that where they say you know i'm a former rap fan and now convince me to like country or the other way around and i said i didn't want to be stuck to just one one genre i want if somebody wanted to be able to um ask for a song i want them to be able to ask for it and not be able to have to say well i would have requested a song but it doesn't fall in the genre you have at least the way i have my setup um no matter what genre they're requesting, they could they could ask for a song. So I've played everything from rock, country, rap, heavy metal, classical, and grunge, and whatever my nephew sings. I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's mainly uh, a lot of loud screaming is what I call it. But metal, yeah, he, metal, yeah, rap. probably it was a little metal and something else mixed into it. Yeah, metal rap. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, his, his band's called Crisis. C R I S E S and. Uh, you can on multi genre music, man. You can look up Crisis and and uh, you'll find them on there. But yeah, he had asked me if I'd play one of the songs. They told him I would. I don't know what kind of genre it is, though. But like I said, I don't need to know because I know my platform covers every genre. So I don't need to know what it is to play it. Well, I, I, I'm going to shock you with the surprise of a genre that you haven't reacted to. Okay. Bluegrass. I have done bluegrass. Uh, wow. Constant, constant Sorrow, and I also played Ricky Skaggs. You need to uh, react to a song that actually was written by a person from the same place I'm from, Knott County, Kentucky. It is called Teardrop In. I'll have to do that one. I, I know I've done bluegrass because I've done Ricky Skaggs, and I've also done In Constant Sorrow from the movie um, – uh oh brother we're out though and that was the entire album of that was in blue in bluegrass so i did do two bluegrass songs that's something that i can never really uh i'm from the bluegrass capital man i yep. mean uh, tommy webb band from here in knock county they wrote yep. that teardrop in that's a hit song it went huge yep. uh who's them one people uh the godfather of bluegrass i cannot remember his name it's not Ricky Skaggs? No, uh, he's from here in Kentucky. And him and his son uh, both do music. What is their uh, name? Marty, Marty um, Stewart? No. Uh, Those two both do bluegrass. And I, oh, and I know man. I'm, I'm like the I know their songs. Daddy's Dinner Bucket is what they... Oh, yeah. They're from I don't, know, I don't know which man it is. Yeah. They're huge, man. Uh, I'm going to look it up. That's the song. Yep. I don't know who sings that, but 
I did, I know I've done bluegrass. I've got done a couple other songs that were in bluegrass. Ralph Stanley. Ralph Stanley, okay. Him and his son are both from my area, man. They're one of the two biggest bluegrass singers out there. Yep. I'm writing it down right now, so I yeah, remember to look them up tomorrow. Absolutely. I'm man. Open, like I said, I'm open tomorrow afternoon. I'll be able to get back on. And uh, I've been trying to drink warm stuff and honey and all that to get my voice back. So I'm hoping by tomorrow it'll be, it'll be back so I can start doing it. Absolutely, man. I definitely have the request building up. And I, I had a guy today write me and said, hey, it's been like five days. Where are you? I need you to do this song. So I'm going to try to get back on tomorrow so I can get it done. I, I just have a request from uh, myself, man. And uh, yeah. that is some Bee Gees. <laughs> Bee Gees. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll be doing any more Bee Gees for a while. I definitely did every hit song by the Bee Gees and every non-hit by the Bee Gees. So I think I'm done with Bee Gees for a little bit. Absolutely, man. I mean, the Bee Gees... Uh, I, I, I don't really like their music. <laughs> I like their music, but, and, you know, they, like you said, the person who was requesting it was doing, like, you know, 10 songs a day, uh, you know, requesting. And there were songs I'd never even heard of, and I actually liked the Bee Gees, and there were songs I'd never heard of. And then I, once he heard I wasn't going to do Bee Gees anymore, he started to be a smart ass, and he broke it down and started doing either just one member of the band. He would request <laughs> that. And then when I said I wouldn't do that, he went to songs written by the Bee Gees, sung by somebody else. So he <laughs> requested a Kenny Rogers song. And then I later found out it was a Kenny Rogers song written by the Bee Gees. And I'm like, all right, he just can't give up, man. <laughs> I just never ended with that guy. Uh, I, I like, I try to review the song before I, you know, like, I don't listen to it, but I will look, look it up and review it a little bit and make sure that it's not anything I can't play. And, it, and as soon as I looked it up and said, Kenny Rogers written by Bee Gees, I'm like, yeah, okay. Guy just being a smart ass now. So I, <laughs> I, I got away from it. Hey, if that guy's out there, you can still subscribe to us, though. We'll, we'll appreciate it. Oh, yeah. You still subscribe to my channel. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll, we'll definitely appreciate your subscription, man. Absolutely. And uh, he's, still, he's still subscribed multi genre. He just he started uh, requesting something different finally. So. Oh, is that the one from Israel? He's from. Yes, I believe it is one. Uh, Germany, Germany or Israel? Yeah, one of them. Yep, I think. It, yeah, I think it is the one from Israel. Germany was requesting uh, a different band all the time. I can't remember what band it was now. There's a few of them like that. I've got eight different countries that watch my channel, so it's hard to keep track of each one. But me too, man. On, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I appreciate every single subscriber that watches. Absolutely. But I'm switching yeah. from Anchor because. Uh, Anchor was supposed to pay me and they've not paid me. So uh, I will be on a different auto podcast uh, distribution company I will be using because uh, Anchor has still not paid me. So uh, I will be leaving them. There you go. So you, do, so you get paid for the podcast separate than the YouTube. Huh? Uh, you Patreon. don't get paid from YouTube for the podcast. You get paid from a podcast company. Patreon. Ah, Patreon. There you go. That's who I'm going to have do my uh, – um, they're going to make all my shirts and stuff like that for me, too. So that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, Anchor is supposed to pay me because I've uh, already passed the limit by about 400 some listeners on what you're yep. supposed to when you're supposed to get paid. So, uh, yep. yeah, man, uh, I've had some pretty big name people on. So, uh, yeah, man, Anchor will not be uh, hosting the uh, podcast anymore. I'm definitely going to find another company that will actually pay me. Yeah, yeah. If Patreon, so one, if, if Patreon does that stuff, that's who I'd go to. That's who I'm going to be going to for um, to get paid for um, all my shirts and all my, uh, you know, to have them anytime somebody makes a, um, you know, drops money on my account or whatever, I'm going to have it gone through Patreon too because they don't take out as much as a lot of the other companies do. So, yeah. The good thing about Patreon is, man, uh, if you get a new subscriber, man, just adds on the next month. It's good stuff, man. I love yep. Patreon. And, uh, yeah, man, my, all my Patreon subscribers get a free ticket to every virtual Zoom concert that I host. Well, great. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to get into that. And, and something else I was saying on my own channel, I can't wait till I get a subscriber. I want to try to get a subscriber for my channel. That way I can start giving out um, – giving out products to people. Oh, the join, the join button, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That, that that would be awesome, man. You should already have that, though. You're at 1,000 subs. 
Uh, yeah, I don't have the only thing I don't have the 4,000 uh, hours. I'm now at like 1,100 hours. So as soon as I hit the 4,000 hours, I'll be able to do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I'll be able to get a subscriber. I'll be able to um, do the thing where I can have the money sign at the bottom that says thanks. I'll be able to do all that stuff. But uh, I'm right around 1,100 and I just got to hit 4,000. So absolutely, man. <laughs> Once that's done, I'll be good. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely over. I, I'm at like, 1,060 subscribers, so um, I shouldn't have a problem with that dropping below 1,000 before I get the hours up. Uh, I, I, I was worried at first when it hit 1,000, it kept drop up, down, you know, like it does. It goes up and down two or three, but now it's at um, 1,060. It hasn't gone down, so I should be good to go. Just got to get some hours up, and then we'll be we'll be all set. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, I, I think if I was monetized, I would have made like five bucks off five or ten bucks off my interview with Joe Teddy. It has twelve thousand six hundred some views. Right. Yep. I heard it's slow going for sure. It's like ten or fifteen cents a video. Everybody thinks that you get tons of money once you get subscribed, but you know it's only ten or fifteen cents. That's why it's good to get Patreon involved, a subscriber involved and all that. That way you have money coming in from three or four different uh ways and you have a better chance of making uh, money on it. Absolutely, man. I definitely am uh, leaving Anchor. Yeah, if they're not paying you, that's, nah, I wouldn't keep going if they're not paying you. No, they're supposed to be. supposed to be able to run ads and stuff on there on Spotify and everything, and it's been about four or five months, so I'm definitely leaving them. There ain't no doubt about that. Yeah, I had the same problem with the uh, company that was supposed to help me get my subscriptions better and stuff, and uh, they just played me around, didn't help me at all, and I had to fire them get my money back and Cause they just, they weren't doing the job. I did way more work than they did on getting the subscriptions up. They, they weren't doing anything to get subscriptions up. They kept claiming they could get it up uh, to a certain number in seven days. I gave them two extensions right up to 20 days. They still hadn't done it. And, um, and I don't think they really did anything because like you said, every person who subscribed said, Oh, I subscribed because I saw you play a Tom McDonald song or because I saw you play this song. So it was nothing to do with them helping me get it. It was just because I happened to put up a song they liked and that's why they subscribed. So I was noticing they weren't doing anything for me. So I, I requested my money back and they luckily, yes, they did finally pay me my money back. So, but you gotta be careful on those, those companies that say they can get your subscriptions up in seven days or your money back because they don't give you money back in seven days. She often only give me half the money back and I had to, uh, I said, no, I wanted it all back. And we had two extensions done. Fun, she gave me my money back. But you got to be careful on those commercials to say that they don't really do much of anything to help you. At least that company didn't. Uh, none of them do, man. And uh, Yeah, I don't think they do either. <laughs> yeah, I- I'm going to call them out. All of you that say you do that, you're full of shit. <laughs> yeah, because they even claim they could get your hours up in a certain amount of time. And I was willing to do that too, but. I didn't even bother with it because they, they didn't do anything to help my subscriptions. You know, I, I was out there every day putting up, uh, there was one day I put 22 videos in one day. Now, I was the one doing that, not them, you know, and, and, all, and all 22 of them videos got subscribers. So, you know, I was the one staying up all day and night doing the work, not them. You know, they, I don't know what they claimed they did. I never saw anything come back from saying, hey, this person or this company sent me over here, nothing. Everything was either a video I put up, a song I put up, or something that caused it so that people were coming to me. So, Oh, if you put up 22 uh, different types of music videos uh, in one day, man, you're going to probably get 100 or 200 subscribers. I, I was getting, yeah, I was getting burned out. The first two months I did this, I'm doing it two and a half months now. The first two months I did it, I was putting up 15 songs a day. And then I was doing... Uh, in January, they, they stopped having a limit. They used to have a 15 per day limit. Uh, in January, YouTube took that away. And when they did, I started putting up 17 or 18 a day. And one day when I was sick, I stayed up overnight and I actually put up 22 songs. So yeah, I got tons of subscribers from that. And so it was nothing coming from their company. It was all coming directly from the work I was doing through the videos. So. Yeah, you definitely get burned out after a uh... Little yeah, bit I had to start calming down. Yeah, I had to calm yeah. down. I had Just to start doing two or three videos a day for a while because I was getting yeah. hurt. I had to stop doing uh, there for a little bit, man. I was doing a podcast every day and every night. Yep. And it yep. just got exhausting. So now I try to give myself at least two or three days off a week. Right. Yep. Definitely. You want to do that. You know, I mean, it only took me uh, two and a half months to get the subscribers up. But yeah, again, it was 
at a point where I had to burn myself out to do it, you know, doing tons of videos a day and all that. I should have just, you had a year to do it. I should have just done it a little slower, gotten it in six months. And, you know, probably I would have got the hours and subscriptions about the same time, but because I was burning myself out doing the videos, I did get the subscribers, but at what point, you know, that was at a point where I have to, I'm, it may have caused me to be sick like I am. I, you know, I get, I, I got burned out, got a lung infection. I lost my voice, got laryngitis, all that. So now I'm just trying to calm down and do just a couple videos a day and try to see how that works. Yep. And this podcast will get some views as well. And there'll be people Absolutely. watching it. And it. This will be uploaded on your channel or not, right? Yep. Uh, your channel and mine. Yep. Both. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely, man. This is a line before podcast. And we will have a logo. Hopefully by we will have a logo by next week. There ain't no doubt we'll have a Great. we'll have a logo by next week. Uh I'm gonna try to work on that tonight. We will have a Facebook page by next week as well. Great. So you can add us on there and you can we, we, hell, we might even have an email where you can send us emails to stuff singers you want us to have on that we may not know about from your area. We Great. will do that and give them yep. some exposure. Send us the information. We'll try to do it. Absolutely, man. Because to be honest with you, I don't know singers from, say, where you're from, New Hampshire. I don't know singers right. from New York or Texas yep. or Tennessee or California or wherever. Hey, Aerosmith come out of the, the state I live in. So, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, just a few towns over from where I live, uh, Aerosmith, uh, Stephen Tyler and Aerosmith come out of here. So, I mean, uh, our, you know, New, in New Hampshire, where I live, is definitely a. Uh, a, a good state for music doesn't your uncle do music he does uh, my whole family does I, I have an uncle that sings uh his two sons sing and then i have a nephew uh, my sister's son sings so yeah i i have a, a family of, of singers for sure what does your uncle sing uh maybe he'll be he can be on a couple he can days. sing anything he uh he does country rock uh you know all but he uh he was self-taught he um he's one of the people who can they can listen to the music and then play it back. They don't. He doesn't know. He can't read sheet music, but he could literally listen to a song and play it back exactly perfectly. He writes his own music. Um, he plays a left-handed guitar upside down because he learned it that way. You know, he his his father would play right-handed, then hand him the guitar. He'd flip it over and play the same note back to him or the same song back to him. And that's how he learned it, upside down on a left-hand guitar, and that's how he still plays it. So it's pretty cool. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, man, we'll definitely have him on if he's uh, down to be on. Yeah, I'll talk to him about it, sure. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, we got Tony on next week, so maybe the uh, week after that he can be on? Yep. Yeah, I can talk to him. All right, man. Definitely down to have him on and sing and uh, give him some – more eyes on his music and stuff does he do like uh local shows uh he doesn't anymore he used to um he used to do like bars and uh like local he was on tv one time through our local uh channel in my town that i live in he was on tv a couple times and, and he's definitely on the radio a few times uh the town i the where i live the area i live in they have a radio station that plays they used to play um every friday night it was like just local music and they would only put on, or maybe it was a Wednesday or something like that, whatever it was, they'd play only local music, like uh, people that are trying, just like we're doing, people that are trying to make it, and they'd put them on the station. And uh, if they were good enough, they'd play through them and find some guys. He got a call back and told that he was going to get played on the radio station, so he ended up making it on, the, on WHEB, the radio station, so it was really cool. Absolutely, man. And we'll have a uh, Facebook page, uh, an email, hopefully, up by. I don't know about an email. We definitely will have a Facebook page and a logo. Yeah, that's, by all, we that's all he needs. That's all he needs a Facebook. Then contact you right through Facebook. Yeah. We will have an email though, where you can send us what you want us to like talk about topics and yep. whatever else. Yep. There you go. Yeah, man. This has been the uh, technically third episode of the Line Before podcast with a uh, multi-genre music man and uh, me, Seth. <laughs> there you go. Best daily podcast man it's been a lot this has been the uh line before podcast y'all have a good night and uh god bless